I'm gonna give y'all a little walkthrough of my X Max um, before I start rolling it so you can see what exactly I've done to it. And everything that I do myself, I run these QS8s. Um, now this one I'm running an XLX2 with an 1100 kV motor. Um, gearing I think is, is mod 1, 3350 gearing. I did adapt a Vitavon gear cover to work with the M2C motor mount system. So as you can see, I have the full M2C top brace uh, motor mount here on the back. Um, I also have, I don't know if you can see it down there, but an M2C rear motor brace. Um, fun fact about that one, um, I actually bought one of the first generations and I found that it didn't work for this motor. <sighs> um, so I contacted um, Avery over at M2C and we got to talking and I actually made an adapter plate for mine. Um, and then next thing you know, they actually made, they revised them, they revised how they make it and now it'll work straight out for these motors as well. So big shout out to uh, Mitch and Avery over there at M2C. I do have the M2C extended hubs on here um, with the 24 millimeter uh, adapters. Now um, I do have the wide max kit on here a wide X max kit with these hubs. Say what you want. I like the stance. I like mine as wide as it is i think it looks good some people don't like it some people do but hey that's part of this hobby is just um you know making things the way you want to make it and doing things you want to do it as long as you're having fun right um then i do have the chassis brace for m2c uh, i did put a nice willy bar on that which i need and you'll see why when we start running it with um the motor and everything i have in there i think i got a savox servo put in there um some upgraded springs I believe uh, there's a couple of other little things like the hot racing nerf bars and things like that on here but we're gonna give it a run today <sighs> I haven't ran it in, in a while I haven't posted any videos in a while just because right as I started posting videos I ended up having to uh, get ready to move and I wasn't able to post anything Let's see how these uh, hatchets perform. I love the way it looks. We'll see what kind of speed we get out of this thing out here. I know we're not going to break any off-road speed records, but it'll be interesting to see what we get. I love these SMC batteries. Though. They're like, I think like 120C burst rated batteries. All right, let's give her a rip and see what kind of speed we can get. If we can never stop wheeling. Oh, and there goes the body. Looks like I'm doing the walk of shame. And that is why I need a wheelie bar. But these tires are handling well. At least I'll give it that. I do need another body though because this body is now toast. I am not used to the brakes on this thing anymore. But you can kind of see. <laughs> body, toast, brakes, hard. <laughs> Bashed and trashed. All right. I'll readjust that and hopefully you guys can see. All right. but I do like these tires. They keep the stability at higher speed. Look at that Willie. Looks like we got a little bit of an audience. That 1100 kV is more than enough for this truck. And those brakes will lift the rear end up every single time. But that wide kit keeps it more stable and planted. I am 
burning up out of here. It is hot. How y'all doing? <laughs> It goes pretty fast. That's a lot of miles per hour. <laughs> I have one of those, but it's a little bigger. Um, and it's way slower. <laughs> I have one that is smaller, and it goes like three or ninety miles per hour. <laughs> All right. But I break one. Well, I mean. So one, the battery just kept falling out. A lot of fun in RC. It's fun to work on them, build them. I built this one. I'm not allowed to have RC. Oh, okay. I'm allowed to. <laughs> them and, never, and just fuck them up and never just them again. Oh, y'all want to see how far I can do a wheelie? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, I didn't carry that wheelie very long, did I? No. no. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's see. That was Mhm. We actually used to. We actually played soccer here. Oh, okay. I think it just kicked up a leaf. Probably. Thought we might have been hitting low voltage for a second, but I guess not. All right, let's see. Thank you. All right, we're recording again. Had some people step by. They were curious about the RC truck. Just got to be careful with those brakes. I'm going at this high speed. Oh, that's a nice wheelie. If you can keep the front tires down, it turns pretty good. I'm not going to be too much longer out here though because the bugs, they're eating me alive. When the kids came over, it gave my GoPro enough time to cool down because it had overheated.
That XLX2 system is just a beast. I find that that uh, 3350 gearing is a good setup for this between uh, temps and speed. I know I could probably go faster and a lot of people use mod 1.5 gears but the mod 1 gears seem to do me fine. I don't have to have any issues with them. You can see with both of those wide kits on there, it does not really traction roll. The only problem that I have with rolling is when I hit the brakes. <laughs> I misjudged the distance on that. Oh, the rear end of this truck is hanging on by a thread. It hasn't got too much more life than that. Surprised the body didn't fall off that time. Didn't mean to do that, but we landed on the feet. Like I said, it doesn't seem to traction roll with these wide kits on it but it will definitely flip if I hit those brakes too hard. I probably need to adjust them a little bit. I normally don't run it at full power though. I've, did I, was I even running it at full power? I wasn't. Goodness. I haven't been running it at full power this whole time. That was only about 75%. Yeah, that's more like it. Like I said, it's been a while since I ran this one. I was running at about 75% power, but these gnats are killing me. I think they're going to end this video early. Because they're following me around. It's so bad. Goodness. We're going to go over here out of the grass and go over where the dirt is. Be over here a little bit more. Yeah, I was running this thing at 75% power the whole time. Yeah, now that's, that's more like 100% right there. And it still isn't technically 100% power because I have it turned down in the ESC. I just have my auxiliary wire tuned to this knob on the controller to set it to control the maximum power. Let's see if we can get a rip across the field full speed. I'm going to go back over here see if I can get away from these bugs. Let's check the wheel nuts real quick before we take it over there. It seems pretty good. All right, let's give it one full rip across the field. Hopefully we don't flip. <sighs> Can't get top speed without wheeling. It wants to wheelie.
Well, wheelie's on command. But no traction rolling. You know, driving this thing and how it wheelies and seeing how I lose steering when it wheelies because the front end is lifting up makes me think I want to keep the XRT maybe not stock but not quite as wild. I don't want it to wheelie as much because that's not what it's for. These SMC batteries, I tell you, last forever though. Oh, low voltage cut out. Even on a low voltage cutout, it does wheelies. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> I do have it in censored mode, so I get that nice slow crawl. That Savox servo was just wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and pop the trunk and get ready to go. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, leave some comments. Let me know how you like this content. This is my first time recording a quote unquote bashing video. It wasn't hardcore bashing, but um, you got to see a lot of, you know, the XRT, some of the things I'm going to do with it. Um, and you got to see my custom X Max. Um, so let me know what you like, what you don't like. Please consider subscribing. Hit that like button, and we will catch y'all on the next one.